Hi there and welcome to InfoVed. In today's lesson, I've chosen top 10 confusing words in English. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to post your comments below. Okay, welcome back. Our first pair of words are incident and accident. So when we talk about incident, incidents are events which are more general. They could be small or big. They could be good or bad, intentional or unintentional. They may have losses, injuries, damage or casualties or may not. For instance, an argument between a wife and a husband is a really bad incident. Or if a pickpocket steals your wallet on a bus, that's also a horrific incident, isn't it? Of course, yes. Or if two players argue out on the football ground, that's also a bad incident. Or if a car crashes and the car usually has, you know, damages, damages and injuries or casualties, that's also a bad, you know, incident. So when we talk about incidents, they are more general. They could be small or big, good or bad, with injuries and losses or not. But if we talk about accidents, accidents are more specific. They usually have damages, losses, injuries, and casualties. So, and they're all the time unintentional. So we cannot call them intentional. They're most of the time, you know, unintentional and they happen all of a sudden, okay? For example, if a car crashes, we can call that an exit, accident. It's better we should call it accident. We can also call it incident, but the better one is accident because it's more specific. It's unintentional, okay? But if a pickpocket steals your wallet on a bus, that's not an accident. I hope you've got the idea, okay? The second pair of words we have is boss and manager. What's the difference between a boss and a manager? A manager is a person who has a level of authority over other people or a manager is a person who manages the other people tasks. For example, a sales manager in a company is responsible for the tasks and responsibilities of sales on the company. A finance manager is responsible or has an authority over financial problems and financial issues. Okay? But on the other hand, if we talk about boss, boss is simply anyone. He or she could be anyone who is above you or who is senior than you in a company. If we take examples of a president, vice president, directors, managers, and assistants. If we take these as an example, so the managers are the bosses for assistants. The directors are bosses for the managers. The vice presidents are the bosses for directors. And finally, the president is the big boss for the vice president and for all others, okay? So we can simply say that a boss is anyone who is senior than you. Okay, our third pair of words are goal and objective. So when we talk about goal and objective, goal is more common in conversation and in spoken English. Objective is more formal and it's used in formal writing. That's the first difference they have, okay? The second difference that they have, goal is more general, but objective is specific. For example, my goal is to get more subscribers, you know, at the end of the day. 
but my objective is to get 1000 subscribers within a month. So if we analyze these two sentences, 500 subscribers is a specific objective or it's specific, but more subscribers is general. That's why for the more subscribers we should use goal, for the specific ones we should use objective. I hope you've got the idea. Okay, let's come to the other pair of words. We have a coach and a trainer. A coach is a person who is, you know, who focuses on improvement of a team performance. Means that a coach usually thinks about the improvements of the overall team. But a trainer is, you know, focusing on the performance and improvements of one individual or one athlete. Trainer usually thinks about the performance and about the improvements of one single person. But a coach thinks about the whole team performance. Okay? How about teacher and lecturer and instructors? Okay. A teacher is a person who teaches basic level of knowledge. Usually they are in, you know, primary, secondary or high schools. They teach you basic knowledge. And a lecturer is a person who teaches you higher or level of education. All the university teachers or all the people who teach at university can be called lecturers. How about instructors? Instructors are people who teach you a specific skill. For example, if someone teaches you a language, so he or she can be your instructor. If a person teaches you music, he or she can be called your instructor. Or if a person teaches you computer skills, then he or she can be called your instructor. So I hope you've got all of the differences I gave you, you know, with these confusing words. Uh, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and post your comments below. May God bless you.